Welcome! And today, in this video, we're going to look at how we introduce oblique sketching to S1 pupils. The main thing we need to learn when we look at oblique sketching is that it's drawn to certain rules like we've talked before with other drawn techniques and for oblique sketching, lines are drawn at 45 degrees. And one of the things we need to think about is, well, what is 45 degrees? If I start by drawing a small diagram, what we have here is a right angle. If I draw a line through the cross, uh, the square, the corner of the square there, this angle here would then be 45 degrees. With this technique, many of your pupils, when they come up from primary school, can actually already do it. If I ask a pupil, can you draw something in 3D, many of them will draw something like this. They'll start by drawing a square or rectangle shape. They will then draw one behind it and then join up the corners. Unknown to them, they've actually drawn an oblique shape. An oblique shape has a 2D drawing at the start or the front. I'm just going to shade in the 2D part of this drawing. So in this case, it's a rectangle. And the angle of the lines going back the way, this angle here, is 45 degrees. So this is how I would actually draw it. I'll start by drawing a square, and then I'm looking to go to each of the corners, one, two, three, and draw a line back at 45 degrees, something like this. Same rule um, as when we'll do an isometric sketching, whatever you draw at the front, you should draw the same at the back. With isometric, one of the, uh, the with oblique, should I say, one of the rules is that the width of the object is half the size than it would be. So if we were drawing a cube, it would be half the size, so something like here, and at the front we've drawn a vertical line, there's a vertical line here, so we'll draw a vertical line at that space. At the front there's a horizontal line here, so we'll draw a horizontal line at this space, and we we'll have a cube drawn in oblique. Let's draw some examples. The next shape I'm going to draw is an L shape. To draw the L, I'm going to start by drawing a rectangle. So I'm going to draw a line here, a parallel line here. Remember, in good techniques from the first video we did, turn the paper to draw lines that are straight. For the L shape, I'm going to draw a line down here and in this direction. If it's just to darken in slightly so you can see the L shape a bit clearer, There you go. To make it into an oblique 3D drawing, I'm going to go to this corner point, this corner point, this corner point, and this corner point, and this corner point, and take lines back at 45 degrees. I'm not going to take a line from this point because I won't see it through the drawing. Now this object has no width, so I'm just going to draw what I think looks right. The same rule. We draw the same at the front and the back. So at the front here we have a vertical line. So I'm going to draw a vertical line at that position there. At this point here we have a horizontal line. So I'm going to draw a horizontal line just here. At this line here at the front is a vertical line. So I'm going to draw a vertical line at this position here. And last of all we have a horizontal line at the top. And again a horizontal line just here. And we have a 3D L shape drawn in oblique. Becomes a little bit more complicated if you do curved shapes. Let's do another example. This time, let's try drawing an S. Again, I'm going to draw a rectangle shape to make drawing my S a little bit easier. When you draw this, you want to maybe draw with guidelines to make it a little bit lighter. Then I'm going to draw the S in place.
To turn this into a 3D shape, what we're looking to do is take lines from any corner points uh, at 45 degrees, like we did on the L shape here. So we'll take a point from this point here, a line, should I say, from this point here at 45 degrees. Same with this point just here, uh, this point just here. Won't take up this point because you won't see it. We also need to take points from the edges as well at a tangent. So from this point here, we want to take a line at 45 degrees. If we're on this point here, line at 45 degrees. And then it's time to finish off the drawing. Now I'm going to make the object this wide. The rule is draw the same at the front and the back. So it curves like this. At that point there. We keep the same thickness. And on the top, we're going to draw a line that goes something like this as well. That kind of curves into the curve there. And that would curve into the curve there as well. And we have, if we just darken in slightly, a 3DS drawn in oblique fashion. There we are, thank you for watching.